This is an Adopt Me speed build. And this is what they created. Today, we're checking out some of Adopt Me's best speed builds. We're even checking out this awesome Encanto build. This build will only go and cost you 1,600 AMC, which is relatively cheap. As we can see, this player is starting off by setting the floor as green, and then going and adding in the basic mirrors. Adding a basic mirror actually goes and makes your walls into clouds. I think this is probably my favorite thing that you can actually go and do in Adopt Me, because when it's nighttime, it actually also turns to night. It's a really effective way to go and decorate your walls, and something that I've always gone and done. Up next, they seem to be going and making a triple bed. Now this is actually pretty cool because you can actually sleep and use all of these three beds which is a pretty nice aspect that you can actually go and use all three and they stack next to each other. I do love just watching people build things, I do find it kind of satisfying. He's then going and adding these little footstools, which makes a nice little footpath to go and walk into here, and changing the colours of them to stone. And if you then push them down into the floor, you get a really nice, like, decorative path, which is something I never would have thought of. He's then chucking in a few more mushrooms, because you know what they say, the more mushrooms, the merrier. No, no one says that. But what they do say is smash like on this video. This is what the speed build of a plant bedroom looks like. It's very nice, it's very planty. Definitely matches the woodland egg 100%. This just really does look like a nice theme. I think it would be very cool to go and hatch a woodland egg in here. I don't think I actually have any woodland eggs available. I, I spent all of my Robux on them and I have no bucks left, so I guess I can't today. But if you do want to see me open some woodland eggs, check out the video where I try to hatch a legendary. But I do like these details, this is a very nice room, especially with these clouds as the background. The clouds do make this thing very interesting, as it literally makes it look like it's outdoors. And I can imagine me going and doing this myself as a speed build in my own house because it doesn't look like it would take extremely long and it seems like it would be pretty affordable so if you don't have like tons of bucks then you'd definitely be able to go and make this which is why i think this is really cool this time we're going to go and check out how to build a helicopter pad now this is something which is really useful for the brand new sandbox island and this tutorial is actually really cool i love the fact that they've actually designed a working helicopter pad inside of a dummy because you can actually go and use your helicopter which i will go and demonstrate and the fact that this is glass and incorporates all of this lovely details and is under 60 seconds makes this thing very exciting so they're getting this big ring and if you lower it down just enough it does look very nice now they're going and buying enough bricks to go and spell out the letter h because that is H for helicopter, so they're gonna go and do that. And then I believe that are gonna go and push it down and set it into the floor. That way it doesn't like leave an uneven level and it does make it very aesthetically pleasing. So that, this is a really easy build to do. Then they're going and putting some lights on there because of course, if it's dark, you need to know where you're going to land. We're actually about to go and land on by using an actual helicopter in Adopt Me. That's right, we're about to go and fly around on a tour and locate ourselves to this thing. And oh my goodness, is this amazing. We're getting a nice little tour of this guy's private island. It seems there is a, a helipad over here and also one at the top, which is very nice. So if you do want to go and build a helipad, this is really cool. It makes traveling look awesome, especially if you use the helicopter. I like the fact that it's like a full flat flooring. So by going and using this helipad, you could literally go and put this thing all over this um, sandbox island. I think it's absolutely perfect to go here because you could literally use the helicopter. It's a very good vehicle to go and use to travel inside of this. So let's go and check out this guy's like fully decked out room, which goes and incorporates the helipad. This thing looks like some evil criminal's layer from a movie. This is insane as if this was made by a thing. This is all blue. You can get blue trees. No way you can make the palm trees blue. Frosty's Mountain Mansion. This is amazing. I love the color scheme, the details, the glass, the fanciness to this thing. Looks stunning. I feel like this is straight out of like some Batman movie. 
This is extremely nice. Even the bedroom has got these lovely blue beds. I wonder if there's a bathroom. Oh, this is the nicest bathroom I've seen in Adopt Me. This, I'm impressed by the guy's bathroom. It's blue. It's nice. I must admit, I am very, very impressed with this build. This treehouse costs 1,645 bucks, which is a very affordable treehouse. They're going and doing a glitch build, which is also known as going and glitching off the top. They're using wooden shelves, which actually works as a, a way to go and make your own ladder, because you can actually go and climb up this thing yourself, which I find very fascinating. So you can just walk up these things, which is really fun to go and do, and they're going and adding some ropes as like additional details to go and make it look like it's an actual like little wooden ladder that's supported by these ropes which I think is some nice small details. So as you can see you can literally climb up this thing they're then gonna just go and build basically whatever they want to go and make a treehouse. I actually once made a treehouse in real life. Let me know if you've ever made a treehouse. So they're then just going and using these lovely colored panels made out of this wooden texture. Definitely the most realistic thing and probably cost effective. Um, they're just called wall panels. You can go and decorate your own and I guess this guy just goes and builds a really nice one. He then goes and makes a little barrier so you wouldn't fall off of your treehouse, which you know what? That is kind of genius because you really don't want to fall off of this thing. He then goes and decorates the inside of the building, which is a nice detail. He's added a bunch of things, which let's go and check out in the tour right now. So this isn't something which is extremely hard to do, meaning you guys could go and join in and make one for yourself. If you've ever wanted to go and make a treehouse, you're in luck because the speed build basically shows you what you need to do. I do like the fact that you can actually climb up these little ladder steps things. It does obviously make it a lot easier to go and get up or down. Once you're in here, you could literally go and decorate the treehouse with whatever you wanted to. So if you wanted to go and make a pirate-themed treehouse, you could just decorate the inside like a pirate. I do like the textures, making it look like real wood, which does make it look like a nice treehouse. There's a few little details. And let's go and check out the inside of Frosty's tree house. He has a computer. Imagine having a computer and a real treehouse. Highly wouldn't recommend it. It'll probably get very wet when it rains. We have books, which also don't store in a treehouse. Is this a, a camera, a chalkboard, a piece of art? Mystery. And then we also have a television. This looks like a relaxing treehouse. The ultimate treehouses of treehouses. And then this glass table. That's actually very cool as well. I've never seen this table before. A mini fridge. This is very nice for a speed build. I do like it. This building of Encanto is amazing. Let's go inside and check out the extreme details that this player has gone and created to go and develop the replica of the Encanto building. Straight away we're greeted with literally every single room which is amazing. There's some little hammocks over here, a cool staircase and the details in this thing again is awesome. There's a giant dining table and the kitchen is fully decked out. Like, I can sit on here and add some peppers. I can make a pizza dough. This is kind of cool. Maybe I'll make my own pizza. Look, let's grab the pizza and go vegetarian. Because fun fact, I am. And we'll bake the pizza. You know what? We'll eat it raw while we check out the rest of this house. We're going to go and head up the stairs and see what lies up the top. These are some pretty cool stairs, which also seem pretty hard to go and navigate up. It seems that there is actually things inside of this room, such as Antonio's room, is really well decorated and looks very, like, beachy, I guess, like sand and trees and calmness. It's fun. I don't think we can actually enter the other rooms, but there is Isabel's over here. So we're gonna go and check out her room. Her room is very pink. I love the floating bed details, the pink polka dots. This is a very nice themed room. I do think this is amazing. Like, imagine if my house was this cool, I would, I would be impressed. And then I wonder what else is here. So this is Mirabelle's, very nice. Very nice, they got some posters, a small little pink bed. The Book of Monsters, very, very cool. I do like Bruno's, <laughs> it's just blocked off. 
And then over here we have the famous candle. And you can't blow it out or you lose. I wonder what's in this staircase. Is this like a secret stairwell? I actually don't know where this will take you. Maybe it's just a second entrance, which kind of makes sense and very nice. I do like this. The exterior of this building, again, is extremely well made. It looks exactly like the set from Encanto. I can't believe that people actually make this stuff. Like, it's so well detailed. I don't even know what these things are, but I absolutely love it. 